Today we're learning something by the Beatles. Not something, you know, like anything. The song something. Sinatra always referred to this as his favorite Lennon McCartney song. This is actually a tune written by George Harrison. To make your learning easier for this lesson, we have put timestamps in the first comment of the comment section. That way you can skip right to the part you're learning. New tutorials every single Wednesday and Saturday. Hit subscribe if you like this content. If you love it, think about becoming a Patreon. Links appear in the notes, tabs for this tutorial, and all our tutorials. Additional links in the description, including my email for some one-on-one -on -one lessons. Let's go ahead and break it down. Something by the Beatles. Grab your ukulele brain attention span. Follow me on in. Let's do it. First things first, let's walk through all the chords. We're gonna have a C. We're gonna see an F major as well. Now we're gonna see two shapes of it, but this one here, you're gonna see that is five, five, three. Now you don't need to get your middle finger up there. We're just gonna use these three strings, making that significantly easier. Move everything down a fret, three, three, one. Sorry, move it down two frets. You have an E flat. We're gonna see a G. Lift up these two fingers, you left at the C major seven. First fret, C seven. We're gonna see a D seven, same shape, bar second fret. Third fret here. Get your ring finger down, it's a D nine, which you can substitute. We'll talk about that a little later. You're going to see a A minor. G seven. We're gonna call this an E sharp five or an E augmented. Call E at 11 as well. First fret, second fret here. So one, zero, zero, two. Cool passing chord. There is a key change, so you'll see an A major. C sharp minor. You could play C sharp minor seven. F sharp minor and a D. So let's get things started with the intro riff. It sounds like this. Okay, now what's going on here is I'm gonna make that F shape, ring finger fifth fret, pinky right below it fifth fret, index finger. And there's this little drum roll that's like doo 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 doo, that's one or two beats. And then you're gonna hear this F on the one thumb, and these two, you're just gonna pluck it. One and two and. Then after, index finger, middle finger, index finger. One and two and. Your index finger is playing the E string and the middle finger is playing the A string. One and two and. Move it down two frets to the E flat. Then you make a G. Now the reason we're calling this a G slash D is because the bass goes. And that's a big part of what's going on. If you were playing it in the piano, you'd really emphasize that. And it's followed after that with the C for the start of the verse. So when we start the verse, if you want, you can strum a C or you can pluck the open C and the third fret of the A string together. That's if you want to emphasize that bass movement even more. One and two and three, four, one. Now we're into the verse. Eight measure verse, let's just strum through it first. We're gonna strum, in our strum we're gonna do a down, 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 up, down, 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 up for one measure. It's a slow BPM. Um, off the top of my head, I'm going to guess that it is 65. 66, not bad. And so we're gonna, you would count it as one and two and a three and four and a. One and two and a three and four and a. So that would be one measure. C, C major seven, C seven, to F for the first four. Down, 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 down. Now when we get to this F, we're gonna do things a little different. We're going to play down, 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 up to start, 
and then over the F you're gonna go down, down, up. Lift your finger and play an A minor, down, down, up. So F, F, A minor to D7. Now, this is an A minor, but we're really thinking about it as an F major seven or an F with an E in the bass, because you can hear the bass go. And that's what we're trying to highlight. Now you could take this a step further and go. What I did there was I thumb strummed the first three strings on the F, lifted this finger up, thumb strummed, and then played just the D. One, two, three. Now to keep it easier or to keep it more fluid, I'm just gonna go F, F, A minor, D7. But I wanted you to have some of those strumming options to make it a little more fancy. The second half, you're gonna do D7. Then the next measure, the second measure is G, A minor, G7. And we're gonna go over the G, down, down, up. A minor, down, down, up. G7, down, 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 down. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. One, two, three, four. Now, here the bass is going G, A, to a B. And if you wanted to, again, you could Now that I'm putting it right here so you can see it, that's just, again, if you wanna make it a little more fancy, uh, we'll strum through it and then maybe we'll talk about that fancy stuff again. Then the These last four also have some bass movement going on. Just to strum it, you strum it like this. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to add some bass movement to that though, because the bass line goes, You would take your A minor, pluck, down, E plus, pluck, down, C, pluck, down, then D7, and you pluck the second fret of the E string, down. So that's just if you wanted to do that. Let's just strum through the circle one time, none of the fancy bass stuff, and then we'll look at it with the fancy bass stuff. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Remember it's slow, I'm probably strumming it too fast already. And then it goes into the intro lick and you would play the verse for the second time. After playing the second time, the intro lick modifies before the middle eight, but we'll take a look at that in a second. If you added some bass action to it, you get something like this. One, well, let's start with the intro riff. drum on the D7, but that was how it would work if you were to add all the bass movement. Something in the way she moves Attracts me like no other lover Something in the way she woos me Somewhere in her style that shows 
those first two verses and then the new lick is going to start the same but instead of going to a C you're going to play this A with a C sharp in the bass one zero zero so that way our bass instead of going like it goes and that's the key change and after plucking that one just strum down on it four times. Two, three, four. The fourth one though, I like to give it a down, up, down, up. So one, two, three, four, we end up boom. Now we're in the middle eight. So let's strum through the middle eight. If you were to just strum through it, it would be A, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, A, D, G, A. Now we can add some hot sauce over that A, but we would get down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Strum pattern is a little different. Down, 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 up, down, up. So that's one extra uh up, as as opposed to being down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, down. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. next time through the everything changes or everything stays the same except the last a changed to, to a c and that is actually our key change and then right there you would jump into the fourth verse, which is the solo, same exact progression as the verse, play through that, and then you would have one more singing verse before the outro. So over that middle eight, though, we can do something over measures four and eight. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now the timing here is pretty crazy. You're gonna strum through the A, and then you're gonna get the fourth fret. And this happens like on the one, uh, uh like one and uh. So the timing's pretty tricky. You're really gonna have to listen to it and slow it down to get it right. So you strum through, fourth fret, then on the offbeat again, third fret, then on the offbeat again, two, and then finally on the fourth beat, one and. So it's like one E, and and for and and in the second half we need that last c you can change that up too and go you strum through the c second fret open third fret and you can go three hammer five to three The timing for this one is a little more a little more straightforward. It's well again, it's all syncopation. One and 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 for the end. Definitely, this is the hardest part for me to sing. Middle eight. You're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know. solo the outro is just comp combining both of the licks so you're gonna go to the a and then two three four and then lick one so that's how you finish it one more time
So let's play through that one more time. is how you finish it up. Melody for the verse. Start third fret. Three, 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 two. Something in the way she moves. Then you go to one. Attracts me like up to three. No other lover. Three, five, three, three, oh. To the D7, it's five. You play five, 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 three. Something in Up to three here, I, and then up to five. I don't want to leave her now. Best part, I think. Three, five, three on the A string, back to five, five on the A string, then back to five, three. I don't want to leave her now. Five on the E string one more time, drop to the A, we're going to go seven, five, three, five. Up to seven, and then three pull zero. Verse melody. So here, so let's play through it. Here we go. Middle eight melody. You'll see why this is so much harder to sing. Four, 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 three times. Seven, four, seven. Nine, four. Those are some serious leaps, right? You're asking me, will my love grow? <laughs> and then seven, seven. I don't. Seven, pull to nine, pull to seven, slide to five. No. Up to 10. It's a high G right there. Then down to 9. And then to 7. And that 7 right there is where the walk down starts. So you put that together. Next time through, it starts the same. And seven, seven, nine, seven, pull five to ten. Then nine, but this time set it down to seven, back up to ten. So the middle eight melody. That's the melody for the whole tune. One, two, three, four. Something in the way she moves Attracts me like no other lover Something in the way she woos me I don't want to leave her now Show. Sure. 
lose me And I don't want to leave her now You know I don't believe in how You're asking me will my love grow This is the solo right here. You could use um, mostly C major, C major pentatonic. I'm going too fast. folks that is how you play something if you made it this far that's because you learned something and i'm happy that uh we made it this far together new ukulele every single wednesday and saturday subscribe if you like this kind of content if you love it go ahead and think about becoming a patreon it is cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger and i will catch you next wednesday or saturday for ukulele monday for guitar take care and have a lovely day Pretty cool key change. Bye 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 bye.